Shalom. Let the cell praises do unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole family members of the elect. This is just a short lesson. This is off of Wikipedia. Um, just a continuation of the Portuguese and the Dutch, the Sephardic Jews, um, who were. Uh, some of them were converts and some of them were of these different orders or of these um of these crusades and um that that's what they did you know take over the world you know through um you know christianity and islam which was set up by a uh, pope you know um alexander the sixth of rome which uh he was an Edomite, and basically, um, our people still had power, you know, to navigate, and, uh, you know, they were uh, men of the sea. So I'm going to read this here, and I'm going to see where the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit, is going to lead. Um, so uh, let's go. The Book of Armor More is an eliminated is an eliminated manuscript dated 1509 AD during the re reign of the Emmanuel, uh, the 14th King of Portugal, the 14th King of Portugal, right? Which uh, all these kings were Negroes, all right? The Codex is a, is an armorial that is uh, a collective Herald weapons um, authored by the King of Arms, Jean de Cor. Um, you know, so uh, our people, they were, uh, you know, gunsmiths, you know, uh, you know, they were navigators, men of the sea. Um, you know, this is, uh, you know, one of the code of or you know that they, on that this is one of the family crests you know um you could read more about this the chief gunsmith book or the book of armor and more it says uh the word is so called become it, it was uh entrusted to a custodian of the armor and more the alvaro da costa all right appointed in 1511 in whose family the charge and custody of the book remained for for more than 10 centuries right so this was the costa or of the coast all right which uh i come through that line through my mother's side and uh, they were sephardic jews who um you know men of the sea you know, navigators, you know, um, this is uh, the golden age of the Moor, written by Ivan Sertema. This is uh, page uh, 350. Prince Henry the Navigator has been credited with harassing the energies of Portugal and resources of the o of the Order of Christ with his skills, the instruments, the most developed seamanship, that is a navigational wis wisdom, all the books and learned from Muslim mathematician, <laughs> cartographers, astronom astronomers, uh, geographers. Uh, when all yeah so you know our people was skilled you know in all these uh wisdoms you know and uh we had universities and uh you know we were uh you know like we would pass these things down to our sons you know and um you know and we were well learned you know not only uh so-called moors you know some of them are practicing islam some of them are practicing Islam, but they were Jews as well. And then some of them were, um, in, they were into Catholicism, you know, like Protestant and all them types of 
um, that dumb nominations you know, for these different orders. It says, uh, where and from whom this ascetic, celibate, reclusive son of John of Avis, so the Avis order, right, and his energy born queen, it says Philippia, uh, accumulated this vast resources of science and navigational knowledge was already been playing down or ignored on on uh on hand. you know um you know this is a actually good uh series to watch the african queen nijant african queen nijant right when uh she was so-called woman queen all right which a uh, queen just means uh basically a prostitute you're right, a, a, a woman of low rank but uh you know like you know basically uh she was of of, of noble stock or else her father was a warrior and uh they were fighting against uh you know the portuguese which was us because we had all the guns all the weapons and all that and uh you could uh go more in depth um you know this is uh like this is the tombstones of uh, of our people here in uh, the americas you know especially throughout the caribbean you know they have uh hebrew writing you know family crest you know you know and um basically yeah this is like the rib all right this is one that's one of my uh like family crests on my um uh, thing so like this is always uh the rib right all right of the coast right or uh skull and crossbow on the rib right um one second Cause we had synagogues one second Uh, you know beautiful synagogue throughout the West Indies and uh, Central America South America you know and also the Americas this is one of the synagogues in um, which was made you know by our people um, one of these uh, islands in the West Indies You know, in the Caribbean. But um, it says, um, so the patriarch Amsley, uh, okay, this is uh, for a new person. It says, uh, the patriarch Ansley, Hen, Ansley, um, um, like Henrik, but it means Henry, right? Because uh, there's a lot of Henrys there in uh, Jamaica, throughout the world. Um, the Douglas, you know, Moses, right? We all had um, a lot of their, our people, you know, and especially in Jamaica, they have a uh, Hebrew surname like Moses, um, David, you know, uh, you know, that Portuguese type surnames, you know, it says, um, Henry took me to see the synagogue in histor historic downtown section of Kingston. Even I knew the synagogue had sand floors, actual, uh, actual, like visual image of all the sand, shocked me. Um, 
shocked me momentarily. Slacker shocked me uh, shocked me momentarily. Um, and even though I knew this, Jews do not take off their shoes to enter the synagogue. I nevertheless asked him, "Should I take off my shoes?" You know, who says the the Sher Shalom Synagogue in Jamaica capital is one of the five functional uh, synagogue within the sand floor. The others are are Portuguese synagogues of Amsterdam, also known as Esnag Esnag but in 1795 and considered the mother synagogue of Spanish Portuguese Jewry, the snow in Corinth, um, Zekam ve Shalom in Suriname, uh, right? So, uh, Vinagog or Slaka and Bar Barca Veselam Vegalam. Hasig in St. Thomas, part of the United U.S. Virgin Island. The synagogues was fully restored by uh, Israel Museum. And without doubt, the highlight of uh, the Mandel, Mandel wing of Jewish art. Uh, so, uh, yeah, our people, we, were, we had synagogues, we had communities throughout uh, the Americas, all right? And uh, we established these synagogues, you know, um, fleeing from, you know, that persecution, you know, and they came up, they came to a new world. And a lot of our people were, uh, you know, we were merchants, you know, money changers. Um, and basically, uh, it was a big uh, monopoly. So this is the Portuguese Jews of Jamaica. I got to get a scripture, so like, yeah. You get a scripture, cause. We got Deuteronomy 28 and uh, I think 54. Deuteronomy 28, verse 64, And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. You know, some of our people practicing Islam. Some of our people practicing, uh, practicing that Catholicism, you know, with their whole renaissance, um, that Christianity and art. You know, but uh, prior to that, you know, we our people knew who they were. You know, and uh, we're in our lowest state. All right, so it says, uh, this is the Portuguese Jews of Jamaica, written by Mordecai Arbel. Right, I don't know his, uh, you know, if he's a small head or if he's a bar stock, but he, this is a historian. It says, um, one second. Very good uh, chapters. It says it says the Caribbeans. This is page three. The Caribbean that, that provided the congenial environment for the Jewish como uh, newcomers. The Protestant. It said the Protestant. Uh, that Protestant colonial power, Holland, British, Denmark, with their liberally tolerant tower, that like settled of like of diverse uh, fate, and basically, uh, like that's why our people you know, who were uh, nobles and um, you know royalty, you know kings, right, uh, who were. Uh, you know, in Holland, Britain, you know, um, the Stuarts, 
dynasty then he had the um you know he basically after like the jacobites after that jacobite war you had um you know uh king george the first the second they were all jake but there was internal warfare and um you know and like basically uh they were in power until like the mid uh 1800s and eventually uh they lost that power right through um so-called black loyalists and stuff you know and uh you know that's what happened um because it's very vast so i'm gonna just uh, try to speed up the portuguese so the portuguese it says, it says like it says the Protestant colonial power, Holland, Britain, and Denmark, were liberally and toler and tolerant towards um, settlers of different faiths. The Jews were like particularly welcome since they were dynamic Spanish-speaking businessmen who con who could conduct trade with the Spanish mainland and with Europe, and more they were. Um, I said they were innovated in agricultural navigation, other fields, right? So we were navigators and we brought a lot of uh indentured servants, so a lot of Edomites and stuff. We had them as, as servants and we shot and we taught them a lot of things like navigation and things, um, you know, basically, and um, uh, that's basically like you know we taught them all that stuff but we eventually fell all right because it was prophecy all right because uh remember these people uh during the turks like like during the islamic you know um so-called uh that revolution you know there are a lot of edomite that was being uh sold you know as a uh, servant as slaves you know, and uh, so they had, a, you know, some of them chose the Islam, right? You know, these Edomites, you know, these Khazarian, um, so-called Khazarian Empire, you know. And, uh, you know, basically, like, some of them chose the Islam, and then and then the others chose uh, the Torah, right? But now, uh, what these people are into, they're into the Talmud and all kind of different... Uh, all kinds of um, um, like basically it's like Babylonian mysticism is what there is into but Revelation 21 and I saw an angel come down from heaven having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand and uh, and he laid hold on the dragon the old serpent right so the dragon which had been uh, the pagan Rome all right uh, with these uh, so-called Greco-Roman empires when they were in power Right, but um, you know, we were uh, oppressed under these people. All right, we we're brought into slavery. You know, um, you know, on the Colosse Colosseums. You know, we were. Uh, you know, we were basically a uh, servant. We had to build up. You know, all these big Colosseums. These, uh, you know, this uh, everything. It's just like how it is now. You know, and basically, uh, you know, you know, we fell, but eventually, uh, you know, there was, uh, you know, when you read about Spartacus, you know, and all, uh, you know, certain uh, people who was in the Rome, Rome like, like certain, certain are people that was into the, uh, uh, like, the, like certain number of people who was into the so-called gladiator arena they uh you know like they took up arms or whatever and uh you know they fight for their freedom right but you know they it wasn't uh it didn't really uh happen because they were a whole bunch of them were uh were hanged right they were um you know they were being uh you know like put on the cross so basically um 
eventually you read about the five good emperors you know jake started to rise to come to power then uh you know septimius severus you know 33 or like 332 a.d with facanti the great you know and uh you know we set up uh you know a church and basically uh you know yeah, uh, basically, uh, you like like the so-called ceramics and Tammuz worship, and uh, Sunday and all that type of stuff. You know, that's where. Um, Cause ultimately, like they did that to have control and make power and you know, resources and power, right? And um, which is the devil and Satan bound them a thousand years, so they were in bondage for over a thousand years, right? Through uh, the slave trade. All right, the whole uh, you know these Edomites was being sold throughout um, Europe, all right, Africa. You know it was a big thing, it was a big money thing, and cast him in the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nation no more until a thousand years it should be fulfilled. After those he shall but lose a little Caesar. All right, and that's what it is. All right, so. Uh, It says in 1608, the Dutch Parliament recognized the Jews as the Dutch citizens who would be defended in the capture at sea by the Spaniards. The uh, the encouraged the Jews like to develop trade route and shipping to the Caribbean zone the dutch west indian company which views the jews are as uh as usual it's a dependable and industrial element encourage their settlement in the dutch colonies the jews started with agricultural plantation growing and refining sugar coffee cocoa indico vermilions coconut and they also introduce cantaloupes watermelon and eggplants right so uh, we had to use you know servants you know through the slave trade because all money for them right um because jake you know they were the so-called black aristocrats right nobility throughout uh, europe and uh you know and basically like throughout the world throughout the um, the Americas, you know, uh, the 13 colonies, you know, and, um, you know, the Spanish colonies or New Spain throughout Central uh, America, you know, Mexico as well, going down to even, uh, even on um, like Colombia, Brazil. Um, it says the Jews started with agricultural plantation. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it says, uh, I'm going to have to do a part two. So with that, let's see how praise do unto Yahweh. Ba'ashim Ba'ashay. Ba'ashim Ra'kwadash. The one's the apostle of Great Millstone. Um, part two now. Lord's will. Shalom.